So continuing from where we left in our last session, where we looked at the Selenium WebDriver uh, internal architecture and the various components in the architecture and how they function internally, right? So now we are going to set up a simple Selenium project. So under that, we'll be creating a Maven project. We'll be adding the Selenium dependency uh, on, the, on the BOM file. And then we'll be downloading the Chrome driver and get it ready so that we can um, use it in our next sessions where we'll be executing some of the Selenium commands on the Chrome uh, browser for automating some uh, application, right? So let's get started and jump to our ID. So for this uh, course, I'll be using IntelliJ IDEA, but you can go ahead and choose uh, any ID of your choice. It uh, doesn't really make any difference. So, but I found, I find uh, IntelliJ to be more user-friendly. That's why um, I'm using a community version, which is completely free. So you can do the same, go ahead and download the community version of IntelliJ if you want to use this, right? So let's create a new project. So I'll click on the new project icon and it will ask me to choose what kind of project I want to create. Now for this uh, session, I'll be creating a Maven project. So the Java SDK is already selected and I don't want any archetype, Maven archetype. So I'll give it a name, Selenium course. And then I'll add some artifact group ID here. So that will be this. And I'll leave uh, artifact ID is same as the project name uh, and the version I'll leave it as 1.0 snapshot. So click on finish to create the project. It will set up a Maven project for you. And the folder structure will already be in place. I'll just add some packages so that it's easier to manage our project. So I'll also add on the test Java. Okay, so a project is set up. Uh, we have the pom.xml file, right, which is generated automatically for a Maven project. And then uh, we need to add the dependencies here, right? So let's add the dependencies tag here and the dependency so that uh, we need to get this group ID artifact ID and version for Selenium. So let's go to a browser and we'll search for Selenium Maven dependency, right? So here it is and we want the Selenium Java version. So we'll take the latest one, not not the uh, alpha ones because they are still under development. So we'll take the uh, stable version, latest stable version, which is 3.141. So let's copy the group ID, artifact ID and version, and we'll place it in our POM file. Now, just to make sure that uh, the dependencies are resolved. Uh, so we'll uh, just update the project. Right, and we'll verify whether our dependency is already present or not. So go to Maven and under dependencies, dependency tree, you will find that we have the Selenium dependency and the other uh, other dependent uh, libraries which are required for the Selenium Java to function, right? So we are set from the project perspective. Now, we need to download our Chrome driver. So let's search for our Chrome driver download. So you'll find the Chrome driver um, under the chromium.org website. So now depending on on the version which you are using for your Chrome browser, you should download the same version. Otherwise, you will face issues while executing your automation scripts. So please take a note of this, right? So I'll just check my Chrome browser version. 
so my browser version is 83 right and so so i'll go ahead and download the 83 version but you can download any of these uh, versions depending on what kind of uh, chrome browser you are using so go ahead and download it click on this link to save some time i already downloaded it and it's i placed in in some location right so i think it's under selenium or Uh, sorry, so I think I placed it in C drivers. Yeah, so I've got uh, my Chrome driver here, right? So this is how you um, download and set up your Chrome driver. So just need to use the exe in your script directly. So nothing to set up here. So I think that's all uh, for setting up the simple Selenium project. So in the next session, we'll see uh, how we can use different selenium commands in our automation right and we'll use some live application for this course so i'm going to show you an overview of that application and then we'll start using uh, the automation directly right